Hello, my name is Alex Badiou, and in this video, I will show you my solution for problem of the week number eight. In this challenge, we had to take the data in its original form and find a way to transform it in order to create a shape map with all the countries and all the cities inside those countries. But before jumping into the solution, let's take a minute and think about the data. In this dataset, we have six levels. A level for the region, a level for the subregion, a level for the countries or sub sub region, and then the countries. We can have cities, which is the lowest level of our hierarchy, on different rows and on different columns. We can have them on level five, on level four, on level six, or on level three. We can also see that the countries is just the level above the cities. So basically, in order to create our shape map, we will need only the lowest two levels of this hierarchy. We can also see that in our data set, we have a natural ranking. That means that we will always have a certain order and we will have level four that is below level three, level three below level two, and level two below level one. And the last finding that we can have in this data set is that we can see that all the countries are written in capital letters. We have Sweden, Spain, Portugal, Greece, but we can also have exceptions like without Sweden, Southern Europe, without Romania, that are written also in capital letters. So, how did these findings help me know where to start with my solution? Well, I had some ideas based on this uh, data exploration. My first idea was to start in unpivoting the columns in order to be able to work with the labels. And the second finding that I think it is important for my solution was the natural ranking, meaning that I can use these levels to identify cities, countries, etc., and I can compare it with the previous row, and maybe based on the comparison, uh, isolate the cities. Okay, so this is all good in theory, but let's see how it goes in Power Query. Okay, so as I mentioned, I want to uh, unpivot the my columns. I do not want to unpivot the level one in company as I do not need these levels. So I will remove these columns and then I will take the other ones and unpivot. I will then take the attribute, which is the levels, and I will create a new column with the number of the level. So I'm just writing two, three, four. It will automatically find the, the pattern. So it, it wants the text after the limiter L. So this, I will call it my level number. And let's switch it to whole number. The next thing we have to do is to create an index. So we have to go to add columns and then index column from one. Now we have an index column. And you will see why this column is important in a second. Okay, the next step that we have to do is to add a new column that will show us the previous level number. That means that when we are on this row, we want to find in the same line, the level three, the level of the previous row. If we are here on level, uh, at this, in this row, we want to find that the previous row was level four. So in order to do this, we have to add a custom column and write the following formula. So what we say here is that 
If the index is one, that means if we are in the first row of our data set, we do not want to find the previous row. So we want to, to have the data as a null. And if we are not in the first row, we want to find the previous row. That is the index minus two. So if I press OK, we can see that the new column shows the level two in the previous row, which is the level two in the previous row. If uh, And here we have, uh, for example, five, because also the level in the previous row was five. Let me give it a name previous level, and I'll put it also as a whole number. And now everything looks OK. We calculated the previous row. Now that we have the two uh, columns, we want to compare the two of them. So we will add a new conditional column, and we will say that if the previous row is greater than the, the level, the, the other column, the level number, then we want to find the index. And if not, we want to have no. Okay, so we now have the, the new column that was created. We have an error here that we do not want, so we're gonna uh, go to mouse, mouse right, click right, and then we're gonna remove errors. And then we will go also with mouse right and we go fill down. So we will have all the time the index eight or the index 12 based on the first index of the, of the group. And we still have nulls here, so we're gonna click right on, on a cell, and then we're going to replace this value with uh, uh, zero. Everything is perfect now. So what can we do with this information? This information is very important because we can now use the group by uh, function in order to find the, uh, the level that is maximum on each group. That means that when we are in this group, number zero, we will see that the highest granulate is four. And we can see that the level four corresponds to the cities. When we are in this group, number eight, we're going to see that the highest granularity is number five. So we can see that the cities with level five uh, are the information that we, we want to find. We go to home. And then you go to group by, and we want to group our column, which is called custom, and we want to uh, find the maximum uh, value of the uh, level number. So we press OK. And now, as I told you earlier, we can find the maximum uh, level uh, of the hierarchy for each group. OK, so based on this data, what we want to do now is to find the real name of the cities. So in order to do this, we have to perform a join between this step and the last step. So in order to do this, we can write the code or we can perform uh, the merge with the same code. Let's click here on merge. So we want to do a merge. Uh, based on custom and based on uh, count. Uh, we do not want to merge with the current data. We want to merge with the previous uh, row. But in order to generate the code, we do it like this. And then we have only to tweak the, the name. So we want to uh, join with the last step that is called replaced value. Okay based on the custom and the level number. Okay. And press OK. So what we'll have now is a table with all the levels, level fours. 
Level 4 is the level, or level 5, is the level of the lowest uh, uh, hierarchy, which is the cities. So this is exactly what we want. So we do not need any more this, uh, these columns. We want to open this uh, data. And we will expand, uh, we expand all just to see the data. So what we want here is only this value and this value. So we're going to remove the other columns. OK, I do not like the value and the point value in the point custom. This is because in the expanded group level, we, we have this default column name prefix by default, so we have to take it off. And then we're going to keep only the value and the custom. Remove other columns. OK, so this is perfect. We now have the city levels. But we still need to find the country levels. How can we do this? Well, my idea was to use the same technique as we did before. So what we have to do is to go to Match Queries, just take the code that we have here, and add a new line with the code. And the only thing we have to change is this left outer. We want to have a right anti. In order to explain why we have to do this right anti, I'll just switch to a PowerPoint. And as you can see, the inner join that we have between our the first time we did the, the, the merge is between the, uh, the custom and the levels. So we have the level four that will for for the grouping zero, which is always the the city level for uh, 8 is 5, for uh, 14 is uh, 4. So as you can see, we find all the time the information that corresponds to the lowest level, uh, the highest level of the, of the hierarchy. This is how we, um, we isolated the, the cities. But now what we want to do is to find the countries. So in order to find the countries, we, if we perform the same merge with, but with a right anti, basically what it will do, it will recover all the, the other information. And when we have the other information and we do the same logic in the sense that we want to find the maximum level uh, and we do not have cities anymore, of course, uh, countries will become our highest level of the hierarchy. And this is how we will find the countries. So let me go back to my Power Query. And as you can see, we have now all the information without the information of the cities. So we're going to exclude the others. And we will open this, this table. And now we have all this uh, information. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to home and then we're going to group by um, maximum level, which is the max of the level number. OK. So now what we, what we will do is the same thing. Uh, we will do a merge between this table and the same table for now in order to have the code. So say, OK. And then from this, we're going to change the step, which is called the replaced, replaced value. And here we have the name level number. like this. OK, so we now have the, the tables with all the countries. We do not need the other ones. We will open all this data, and we will keep only 
the two columns and now we have also the countries in order to keep this a little bit cleaner i'll just rename my step countries and then i'll also rename the cities and here i'm gonna rename it city and the last thing we have to do is to do a inner join between the two tables once again we're gonna go to merge we're gonna merge on custom and we will have an inner join okay and now we will change the name to cities city and and here we go and we will open up cities and countries now we can remove the columns and we will have a nice table with the countries and the city perfect the last step is to add a shape map and uh, visualize the data inside the map so i'm gonna go on the shape map i'm gonna put my countries into the location and cities count of cities in the color saturation then we will gonna go to shape and we will see that we do not have uh, a shape map for all the countries so that is why i added the json file with the countries with all the countries so now we have a nice map with all the countries what we have to do is to go to mercator and go to auto orthographic and now we will see our map with all the countries and uh, we can tweak a bit the um, the colors and uh, the information of the map so in order to do this we have to go to default colors and then we can uh, change the the colors uh, a little bit and uh, and voila you can have a nice uh, map with uh, the information of the hierarchy. I hope you had fun with uh, this problem of the week and uh, see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.